Hi, I'm Mike Martini, third generation winemaker for the Lewis M. Martini Winery in the Napa Valley. Lewis M. was my grandfather. I'm the M out of the Lewis M. Michael. I want to talk to you today about removing cloudiness from homemade wines. And uh, this is initially left over yeast from the fermentation and we see some great pulp, grape skins, things like that that are floating around in the wine. And if you're doing this on a small scale where you have a jug or a couple of jugs, uh, the first thing I would recommend is you put it in your refrigerator and, and that will help to settle that out and you'll get a pretty hard pack, what we call lees, at the bottom of your bottle. And, and then if you still have a little haziness or you want to clarify it a little bit further, highly recommended coffee filters. How many different things you can do with coffee filters is amazing, like from cleaning your glasses. to. But the, the whole point is that they're lint-free and they're acid-washed. Uh, and so you won't get any flavor in the wine itself. Just make sure you clean your coffee pot first. Uh, try paper towels and it comes out tasting like a paper towel, so you don't want to do that. Um, the coffee filters, you just use it like if you were making coffee. Don't boil it over, just let it go through. And then, you know, fill it back into some other container. Wash your bottle out and you can put the clean wine back into it. So that's Mike Martini on how to remove haze from homemade wines. Thank you for watching.